Healthcare providers often encounter patients who require intubation. Before proceeding with medications to facilitate this process, it is essential to assess the potential for a difficult airway. This step ensures that the patient can be both ventilated and intubated safely. A structured approach of assessment helps to manage airway effectively. The Lemon Mnemonic for Airway Assessment The Lemon Mnemonic is widely recognized as the standard tool for predicting difficult airways. It consists of five components that guide healthcare providers in evaluating the likelihood of complications during intubation. Step 1. Look externally. The first component involves looking at the patient's external features. Providers should assess for signs such as morbid obesity, facial hair, protruding teeth, a protruding tongue, or any trauma to the face and neck. These factors can complicate the intubation process and should be noted carefully. Step 2. Evaluate the 332 rule. The second component focuses on the 332 rule. Ideally, the patient should have a mouth opening wide enough to accommodate three fingers placed side by side. Additionally, there should be a distance of three fingers from the tip of the chin to the hyoid bone and two fingers from the hyoid bone to the thyroid cartilage. This measurement helps determine if there is sufficient space for successful intubation. Step 3. Malampati Scale the third component is the Malampati scale, which evaluates the visibility of the uvula. If the full view of the uvula is visible when the patient opens their mouth, it suggests that intubation may not present significant difficulty. However, if no opening to the rear of the throat is visible, it indicates a potentially difficult airway. Step 4. Obstruction. The fourth component involves assessing for any signs of obstruction. Conditions such as laryngeal trauma, foreign body airway obstruction, edematous tissue, or burns can complicate intubation. Identifying these conditions early allows providers to prepare for potential difficulties. Step 5. Neck mobility. The final component is the assessment of neck mobility. For non-trauma patients, the ability to flex, extend, or manipulate the head and neck increases the likelihood of visualizing the vocal cords. In contrast, for trauma patients, manipulation of the head and neck should be avoided to prevent further injury. A systematic airway assessment serves as a tool to identify patients who may present challenges during intubation. By recognizing potential difficulties early, healthcare providers can decide on the best course of action for patient care. This preparation ensures that appropriate strategies are in place to manage airway challenges effectively. In conclusion, the Lemon Mnemonic provides a clear framework for assessing the airway before intubation. Each component offers specific guidance to evaluate the risk of complications. Healthcare providers should use this structured approach to enhance patient safety and improve outcomes. By focusing on measurable criteria and observable signs, Providers can better anticipate and address airway management challenges. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.